From playing in dusty pitches to being Ghana's main black star in the World Cup, Mohamed Kudus has solidified himself to be one of the best young African midfielders with infinite amounts of potential. Clubs like Arsenal, Liverpool, Leeds, Tottenham Hotspur, Everton and Chelsea want to sign him after the FIFA World Cup. So how did he get into this position? What was his journey? Well, to start off, Kudus was born on 2nd August 2000 in Nima, Accra, Ghana to his mother, Maria Masalman and his father, Idris Kudus. The town Nima was known for its food markets where women trade cultural food for money. And so Kudus' mother was one of those women who were selling food in the market. Kudus will spend most of his years in his hometown of Nima. The Nima neighborhood was made up of mostly Muslim people who spoke the West African language, Hausa, but the neighborhood was also notorious for its fights and gang violence. So not only Kudu's mother had to look after her son from all those dangers, they also had to also hard to feed the family. It was hard for all of them. Kudu's distraction from all this madness was playing football with his friends at school or in the local streets. But his friends realized that he was quite good with the ball. His friends and his mom realized that he was quite smart with the ball and he was naturally gifted. He had awareness, he had skills, he was strong and fast and he would outperform everyone. So Kudu's mom encouraged him to take football more seriously and so he did exactly that. His new goal was to play in Europe and break the cycle of poverty for his family. And so he sets on that mission, training, blood, sweat and tears for years. Eventually his ethics paid off. He enrolled in his first academy, Strong Tower FC, which is a Ghanaian academy in Accra when he was 9. In a quest to push for the European opportunity, Kudus founded his next academy, Dynamic Heroes in Accra. He aspired to be like Ghana's legends like Michael Essien, Kevin Boating and Jordan Ayu. Because of that, he strived to join more local clubs that would serve as a springboard to smaller leagues. And so he joined the Right to Dream Soccer League Academy by the age of 12. An academy founded by the Manchester United head scout in Africa, Tom Vernon. Tom was impressed by his talent and he wanted to give him this opportunity. And so Kudus and his main teammates, Sadiq and Video Mensah, trained as hard as they could within this academy holding their skills, quality and consistency and they put blood, sweat and tears. Even the scout, Tom Vernon, became president of FC Nose Jelond in 2017. He knows that Kudus had a big heart and he foresaw his potential. That's why he pushed for the youngster to play in the EU and it paid off. He achieved his European dream. Kudus and Sadiq got called by FC Nose Jelond, a club in Denmark in January 2018. Kudus joined FC Nose Jelond with one goal in mind, to make a name for himself. So that other big clubs would notice him. And in no time, he immediately became the best player in Denmark. Mo Kudus became the ninth player to make his debut in FC North Jelon's history, joining at 18. With this ability, he achieved the aim of attracting scouts from top clubs around Europe. On 16 July 2020, Mohamed Kudus signs for the Eredivisie club Ajax for 9 million euros on a 5 year contract. As many who knew his abilities, the Ghanaian midfielder adapted very quickly. Kudus was known as the boy with a lot of discipline. He hardly missed meetings or training sessions. In his official debut on 20th September 2020, everyone saw how far strong and technical Kudus was. Within the two seasons with Ajax, Kudus became a bearer of three individual honours. He won the Eredivisie Talent of the Month of May 2021, the Swag Foreign Football of the Year 2021, and let's not forget the 2020 IFFSHAF Youth Team of the Year. As of 2022, Kudus has won the Eredivisie two times with Ajax, including the KNVB Cup in the 2020-21 season. At the start of the 2022-23 season, it saw a new chapter for Ajax. Kudus was the one who rose to become a regular for Ajax, the meteoric rise of the boy from Nima manifested itself in many forms under Alfred Schroeder's command. Now grew to become one of the Jack's most exciting players to watch. From both craft and country, he is known to play with confidence that was beyond his years. There's no doubt that Kudus had a good run in the FIFA 2022 World Cup. Specifically when Ghana went against South Korea, Kudus played very well scoring two goals for the Black Stars and this made loads of teams in Europe want to sign him. Even though Black Stars got knocked out, Mohamed Kudus in top scouts within Europe with his abilities on the pitch and he has made a statement for the future of his career. So in conclusion, the youngster has great potential ahead of him. He has talent. Those of Premier League clubs want him in. It speaks for itself. Whatever club he joins during the transfer window, I hope that the club advances his career throughout the upcoming years to come as I believe he can be added as the list of legends in Ghana. And if you reach the end, you guys are a real one. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to watch another video, just click the video at the screen right here and yeah, have a good day. Cheers.